Welcome to another episode of Training with Luis Orta. Today we have a different special. One of my favorite episodes is the training camp in Boulder, Colorado. This is the fifth camp that we've done in Colorado. And as always, beautiful experience for the athletes that come train with us, but also for me and my people, my crew. We love having people over. We love having people in Colorado. It's just We live here, we love it here, and we want to share that with everybody. So this time we had people, 20 athletes from all over the country and including outside of the U.S., people that came for a weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, to spend time, quality time with us in, in Boulder. The idea is that not only do they train and not only do they get fit and in shape, but also get a lot of experience from the athletes that come talk to us. We had um, invited guests. We had trainings in different areas and places in Boulder and around. Not only in Boulder, we also go to up to the mountains. And I think that's a beautiful experience for everybody because running at that altitude in places, in such beautiful places like the mountains of Colorado, is a unique experience and an experience that you can only learn here. And I mean, I've been training all over the world and I still think this place is unique and special. What makes the camp so special is not just being in Boulder, but the people that come. Because everybody has the same ideas, the same goals, which is to learn, to share, to experience, and to run. And then after three days, people go home and they become best friends. It happens to in all the camps that I do. People, the first couple minutes, maybe it's a little awkward, but... We do a couple exercises, and then after that, everybody becomes really good friends and re have a really great time. In This camp was special. We had two invited guests that shared their story and their knowledge with my athletes or with the campers. One of them is Nell Rojas. Nell Rojas is a professional runner here in Boulder. She's the daughter of Rick Rojas, which is my coach and a good friend of mine. I've been training with Nell for the past three, four years now, so we've become really good friends, and she has a lot to share with athletes because she has been in the game for a long time, and she has been at the highest level of the game for a long time. So having Nell share her experience with everybody at the camp, it was something very special. We had the opportunity for people to ask questions, to ask her about her races. I mean, she has been the first American in Boston, two or three years in a row, something like that. So that's something very special and very important that people want to hear about. And just having her here with the campers, it was such a cool and unique experience. I'm very thankful for the friends that we have here in Boulder and for the community that we have here. And I just asked her, Neil, you want to come talk to my campers? And of course, you know, a good friend helping me and helping everybody. So it was a really cool, really unique, awesome experience. We also went to Magnolia Road. Magnolia Road is one of the most popular, famous roads to run here in Boulder. It's about 20 minutes outside of Boulder, Colorado, and you have to climb up the mountain. So you go from a mile high to 2,600 meters of elevation. I think that's 8,600 feet. So it's very high. So I tell my athletes and my campers, be very careful, take it easy, don't run too fast, just feel the pace and then make it get progressive if you want to. But the idea here is not to run really hard. The idea is to get the experience from training in the mountains, from doing such a cool thing of running with cool people. And it's beautiful. I mean, it's a unique place. It's something I I've never seen anything this beautiful. And I mean, I've seen a lot of beautiful places, but this is different. And for me, it's home. So it's very special for me to share my home with other runners and runners from all over the world. And Everybody was saying the same thing. This is incredible. This is beautiful. This is so pretty. And I'm so happy to be here in this experience and learning from you guys. So Magnolia Road was an amazing place to run. I want to take a second to thank all the sponsors for this camp. This camp wouldn't happen if it wasn't for my sponsors. The Feed, um, it's a company that sends uh, nutrition and nutrition products all over the U.S. They sell electrolytes, gels, everything that you need for a marathon. You can find it at TheFeed, TheFeed.com. We've been working together for two years now. And before I started working with them, I was using their company to buy all my gels. So it's something that I do believe in. And it's been helping me a lot. They were able to send us a ton of uh, electrolytes and gels to share with the campers. And it was pretty cool. 
SOS Hydration is the electrolyte that I used during my marathon. And I wanted to share it with all the athletes. And everybody loved it because they have so many different flavors. And it was like, it's it's really good. I like it. And I don't, I'm not trying to sell it. I do think it's like really good for the marathon. And it also tastes really good. So I have SOS with me basically at all times. And I wanted to share that with the athletes. And then we had the visit from stride stride is a company that's been sponsoring me for two years now we they came to show us uh the food pot and how it works and they talked to us about the power because when these campers come here to boulder i wanted them to see all the technology companies that are in town i wanted my campers to be able to see that Boulder is the running mecca of the U.S. And all these companies are here for a reason. So I wanted them to share that experience and learn from that. And I think they did. And it was pretty cool and pretty unique to have. We had a lot of team building exercises. And the more camps I do, the more I learn this and I see the results. Because the first meeting, you know, it can be a little awkward. But then if you do these exercises, people start loving each other. So we did rock paper scissors and I know it sounds very silly but trust me it was like one of the most fun exercises that I've ever done and this was thanks to my friend Josh Natson that is the one teaching me all these bonding exercises and they're so good and every time I do them in the camps it goes better and better and better the views in Boulder are amazing so like you can come here and just see a unique cool place and even if you that's the only thing that you take home that's already enough like I'm so happy and so proud to live here and to share that with other people. That's what I want the people to come to my camps because once they see it, they say, Luis, this is awesome. This is all I wanted from from this camp. But then, of course, you take a lot more, but just the views are amazing. Being able to run around Boulder, especially in the time that we do it in the middle of the summer, the weather is perfect. It's just beautiful. It's such a cool place to be in. Another speaker that we have is a good friend of mine, Molly Grable. She's a 229 marathoner. She ran for the University of Oregon, and she's really fast runner. She came to talk to us to share a little bit about her experience and to answer a lot of questions. Molly is a really good friend of mine, and she's been my teammate for four or five years now. So I trust her that her knowledge is something that she can share with my campers, and they will love that. So she was here with us and her and Nell just talked about different topics, marathon, gels, electrolytes, just a little bit about everything running related. And it's a pretty cool experience because we had campers. The youngest one was 17. The oldest one was 70. And they both had really good questions for Molly and she was able to answer them really well. So I'm very thankful that she came to share with us too. The last day of the camp, we do our long run at Rollingsville. Rollingsville is also in the mountains, about 25, 30 minutes from Boulder, at 8,500 feet of elevation, and it's a beautiful place to run. It's hard, it's difficult to run up there, but it's such a cool place to run that I want them to go home with that experience of running up there. It's just literally in a unique place and everybody loved it everybody had a lot of fun everybody ran really well we did a two hour long run some people did a little bit more a little bit less everybody runs at their own pace because remember my camps are for people of all ability levels from the beginner to the experienced runner everybody gets to train to share to have fun so it was a beautiful experience I'm very happy with the way this camp went. I think each camp that I do goes better and better. And I'm so thankful for all the people that come to Boulder and share with us. And, you know, trust me with this camp and with this process. So I'm very thankful for everybody. And it was a great experience. And I cannot wait to do it again next year. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you ever want to come to any of my camps, I do camps in Kenya, Colombia, Boulder, and we're planning to do another camp in Brazil hopefully with Daniel Chavez, our assistant coach. So stay tuned for all that. Uh, The websites are runningmecha.com and myolympiccoach.com. You can find all the information about the camps there, but also don't hesitate to send me a message, a DM, a text, an email. I'll be able, I'll respond right away. And hopefully I see you here in Boulder or in Colombia or in Kenya or somewhere. Let's live a cool experience and adventure. Thank you. Mecca running camp, 9,000 feet, just crushing it, running progressive for my people, a lot of gratitude, a lot of joy, 
part in these mountains in this air feeling so joyful to be alive and being able to do this loving it come on out it's worth it life changing living here for me is like a dream come true I told some of you guys the first time I came here the first thing I did I was I called Hiruni and I was like you have to come like we're staying here because this place is great and then Hiruni came and she saw it and she's like yeah it's true so we stayed um, so I just wanted to thank you guys for coming here this weekend for giving me your time for sharing uh, I feel like sometimes I learn more from you guys than what you guys learn from me so I am very thankful and also like you're literally making my dream come true which is to make running you know my life